Dear guests, friends, it is my great pleasure to join you at this dialogue. Here in Beijing, the two sessions have come to a successful conclusion. This spring meeting of the 5,000 plus deputies and representatives, including myself, epitomizes China's vigorous efforts for high quality development. A China in its own path to modernization has a lot to offer. Opportunities for shared development, as suggested by our theme today. In this context, let me share with you my following observations. The Chinese economy is rebounding, providing a stronger underpinning for investing in China. Last year, with a 5.2% GDP expansion, China contributed it to one third of global growth. It now stands proudly as the world's second largest consumer market and the biggest auto exporter. The Chinese economy has its strengths in its market size, sound infrastructure, complete industrial system, and vast human resources. Its potential comes from the new quality productive forces, a new type of urbanization, upgraded consumption structure, and its transformation toward green and low carbon development. We are confident in growing the GDP by around 5% this year. China's development has its best days lying ahead. The Chinese market is one of a kind, nurturing a stronger momentum of investing in China. The recent Spring Festival saw a record high of travels and box office revenue. China's middle income population has reached 400 million, and the number is still growing by tens of millions annually. The huge, vibrant Chinese market is open to companies of all countries. We have further shortened the negative list and lifted all the restrictions on foreign investment access in the manufacturing sector. Foreign investors can expect broader market access in telecommunications healthcare, and other service sectors. International visitors will soon find making payments more convenient. In a word, China is building up a market-oriented, law-based, and world-class business environment. The opportunities that China brings should not be missed. Investing in China has even broader prospects. China remains a popular destination for global investment. Last year, the number of foreign invested companies in China increased by 39.7%. Paid in investment from France, the UK, and the Netherlands grew by 84.1%, 81%, and 31.5%, respectively. Using a microscope to examine the Chinese economy doesn't solve one's own challenges. Viewing e vehicles as iPhone on wheels, or describing cargo cranes as Trojan horses only gets one into a nerve ending cycle. Overstretching national security leads to excessive anxiety. If de risking is all about China, it means lost opportunities and lose lose outcomes. After all, with over 70,000 American companies investing in China, and the two economies so closely connected, a forced decoupling can be too expensive. Dear friends, the successful summit meeting between President Xi Jinping and President Joe Biden last November has stabilized the bilateral relationship and set forth the San Francisco vision. The two presidents recently exchanged letters of congratulations in its 45th anniversary year of China-US diplomatic ties. They both underscored continuing the efforts to stabilize and grow the relationship. China is ready to work with the US side to garner stronger momentum for cooperation and build a breakwater to protect bilateral relations. We hope that the two sides, guided by the principles of mutual respect, peaceful coexistence, and willing cooperation, can work together to turn the San Francisco vision into reality and promote stable, sound, and sustainable development of China-US relations. 
Spring is the best time of the year. China in spring is full of vibrancy. The China-U.S. economic cooperation has vast potential. We welcome more American companies to settle down in China. We hope all of you at this dialogue will help us build more bridges of communication and mutual understanding between our two countries. When China and the U.S. work more closely, we can usher in a brighter spring for the global economy and the future of humanity. Thank you. Thank you.